Welcome back upon for the next part of Gangnir. In the last part, we have finally defeated Robertus and Wallace and conquered the building that seemed to have never been conquered before, as well as almost uh, beheading one of our allies. Yeah, that almost happened as well. Not entirely sure why he got or right, where he got that idea, but uh, it's interesting to see that he has his pride so high that a simple remark is for him enough to lay it on his own head in favor of gaining uh, the general's trust. <laughs> I'm just not entirely sure. I I'm not so sure about that guy. He looks a bit rough, but he might be better than Natalia. He's probably better than Natalia, even though he was a bit rude towards Paolo, but to be fair, he didn't really want to talk to him. It was about the general, which is Golio. Right? Right. Nevertheless, what are we going to do now that we have that fort? Are we just going to march to the capital right away? Is that our next goal, or...? I mean, we have another scene with the Highness, so maybe. <laughs> Your Highness. Hmm. Alright. Oh, it's you, Siad. What's the matter? Um, unfortunately, Your Highness, Golugard Fort has been taken, and Lord Robertus has been slain. <laughs> oh, oh my. It had to happen. He tried to kill my Ragnus after all, and he took the life of Gullio's father, so he kinda... and deserved it, I guess. I see. Robertus has left us. Hmm. Go, Siat. I shall rest for a bit. Okay, what is wrong with this guy? He seems tired. Um, what is what has happened to his highness? He lost that vital spark, as if something within him has died. He has completed his duty. He may now relax and sleep. Did you poison him by chance? Um, one more thing. According to some reports from the soldiers, didn't Lord Robertus escape and make it back to Titanica? He did what? <laughs> he will never return here. This was the perfect opportunity to drag him from the stage. And of course his highness is not well. I trust that you understand. As you wish. So they're going to keep them apart from now on. And he might try to poison them now. Now that Robertus is gone, nobody's able to get in his way anymore. Oh, Ziad! <laughs> now, only one man remains. My victory is nigh. Should have expected this. The second I heard that uh, he was uh, responsible for the politics. He had way too much power, even over his own majesty. He just needed to say, oh yes, of course, and all that came from his majesty, you can't really refuse, right? And that's all that he needed to say in order to confirm or rather force the people to follow his missions, right? That's literally all that he needed to do. It didn't even need it to be the truth, because by that time, it's already too late. They have to follow that order. They can't just stall. There's a whole army waiting for them to fall in, right? <laughs> okay. Esperanza now follows up the victory at Golugard by marching upon Daltanica. Oh my god, we're already there. <laughs> the capital. The Knights General's defeat at Golugard costed the Empire a significant number of troops. It appears that the march upon the Imperial City would be relatively easy. However, 
there were those who were observing the events from the shadows. And they were waiting for such a moment to make their moves. Okay. Was it now? Is it perchance the vampires? I mean, the other vampires that got sent out as scouts didn't really do anything yet. Oh my god, he actually survived. And I see Wallace as well! Why did I let them go? <laughs> Why? I was pretty sure to be gone at this time. Oh. Well, I will return to Titanica directly. Gather the knights around the region. They are all afraid of Lord Siad. Do you think they will stand up for us? Tell them to come in the name of the general. We do not protect Siad. We protect his majesty and the empire. If they have any justice and pride in their lives, they will come. Oh, is that so? Uh, how miserable. General Robertus, you still hold on to your loyalty and your vow to protect the Empire. Okay, you! What are you trying to do here? Siad. Now he has begun giving orders without any care for how they are followed. Well, you've all worked very hard. So I'll give you a gift. An honorable debt in combat. Of your mind! Who will protect Daltanica if the royal knights are gone? Oh, Daltanica still has an abundance of military power. Did you think Lord Siad wouldn't have thought of that? Uh huh. Don't tell me I have to help him! Don't make me help him! No! Robertus! Anything but that! <laughs> Something is wrong. Oh. Why is my father fighting Imperial soldiers? Hmm? Oh, you've come this far already. Well, that was fast. Wallace, we're leaving. Understood. Good luck to you all. I was about to say, are they jumping into the river? But no. <laughs> But now he gives us his trouble! <laughs> no, I don't want to clean up for this guy! You can't make me! <laughs> Follow them! Don't let him get away! Yes, go after him! All of you! <sighs> What's going on here? We can worry about them later. First, we have to defeat Regina. <laughs> no! I don't want to! That is his problem! I don't want to clear up this mess! Come on! How's that even slightly fair? Freaking vampires! I see them! Of course they are! <laughs> uh, I can bring Paolo into this. Or oh, Elise. They always need to deny me one choice around here. Every time. Okay, so water deep. Seems relatively deep. It has some shallow areas, but some of those areas are really. Barely hitting the mark. The oh my. If statues to break, treasure chest, even more water, a bridge that I can use. A witch? She has a healer. Okay, that healer might be a bit of an issue. I might wanna go for Paolo then in order to hit them all with a couple of magic attacks. Yep, might be for the best for us. Paolo, you have potions in case you need it, an ice rod, book of Laura. You have heat fries on this one, so it should be fine. Yeah, I guess you're ready, Paolo. I'm not sure I understand what's going on, but we must focus on the battle ahead. Right. Let me double check really quickly. I probably need to take care of those vampires. If they stay up there, I don't really mind them to be there. The thing is though, I have the slight suspicion that they are not going to cooperate and just stay there for us. So that means this is gonna be a bit of an issue. Is that a building? 
it is. Is it also a breakable thing? It is. Okay. I'm gonna worry about that in a second. No, but I have a very strange feeling that they are not going to comply with us, so that's a bit of an issue. Uh, they're relatively close to the area where I can push them in. You have a book of Kiryu yourself. Oh, great. A gorgeous dress. Every woman should wear it at least once. And healing gloves that lower ailment duration. I'm pretty sure that I wanna, don't want to give you that. Equestral staff. Equestral staff. Serpent. They also come with a healing light that recovers vitality. And benefactory. Aqua damage. Randomly applies aquarism. It doesn't really sound so bad, but I guess they do that in order to get the boost on the Southern Cross, which has a wide range AoE effect. It's not that wide. Infernal Ruin at Spurn, pretty much like my Lava Staff. You have Bread. Right. That's a thing. <laughs> You don't even come with your own elixir, you're just having some bread. I mean, touchy. Two tiles, pierce attack with wind element. True starter slash, void defense percent. Heavy, null damage. Okay. Light and protective, a Valkyrie dress. And some boots that improve their movement. I guess they have, yeah, they have two of those bandits. And a sorceress with the Inferno. Hell's Crater, Mine Gram. Is that... Okay, I'm not entirely sure what that's about. She really needs to be extremely close for this. Can technically apply burn, so that's also a bit of an issue. And we have a couple of bases all around us. Ice Rose? Oh, you have that as well? No, you have a Feather Rose, but an Overdriver. Okay, I'm pretty sure those girls are just there in order to boost up uh, the physical attackers, right? Oh, no, never mind. Probably the Sorceress then. Okay. So I would almost say it's pretty obvious what I need to do first. Kick that girl out. With everything that I have. It is too deep. It's just too deep. Okay. I think with this we're ready. Now then everyone. Stay alive. Robertus in dire straits. Kill these dregs and cleanse the empire. Mm-hmm. I wasn't planning on fighting you dregs here. But this is a great timing. I was just thinking that we should complete the purge. Seriously? You talk about the purge again? You shouldn't be so taken with that stupid idea. You black-hearted fiend! Mm-hmm! Okay. Kick them out right away. Am I fast? I'm super fast. Don't even need to go for the boost, but... Uh... Nah, I'm not gonna go for the boost, never mind. I'm just gonna kick them out. Right away. Then I'm going to get the first base point. Paolo, or rather Gulio, is going to try to approach. Or should I get another base point? I mean, I could get another base point for now. Maybe I can lure the vampires towards us from here. I probably need to take care of those vampires after all, and I'm not about to... Oh, I think I missed. Did I actually manage to miss that one? It was right around the corner! <laughs> I actually did! Oh, that's embarrassing. And now she escapes. Okay, you know what? No, no, wait, wait one second. No. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna let that healer escape. That is stupid. I, should, I was actually planning to kick her out right away because she was literally in my line of sight. 
Okay, now I got the first hit. Good. Exactly what I wanted to see. Can't fight anymore. I must fall back. Goodbye, Book of Kyrie. Not about to fight against the book that I love so much. <laughs> it's my favorite book out of there. Alright. They're already going up the stairs. I should probably follow suit. The witch is going somewhere else. Alright, oh, the treasure ship's location is also changed now. Now it's all the way in that corner. Okay, where are you casting? Mm, wrong target. Currently going for my power law. Guess we are just gonna move up right for now. I need to be a bit careful about this. They're probably going to try to follow us on top of the bridge. And if they do... Don't! Don't get involved, vampires! I swear to God! Don't make it complicated for me. Alright? Do not make this complicated for me. I just want to protect my spot. Alright? You guys have knockback? No, you don't have knockback. But you do technically have an ability to counter. Which might be a bit of an issue, but we will see. Okay, she comes around, stealing one of the tiles. I go for another push. I can knock her down. No, I can't because she's a little bit faster than I. Okay, for the time being, I guess it's just. We're just gonna come up here for now. Yes, just play up here. That's fine. Okay, that's a miss. That's good. That's actually the boss herself. And I start casting a fire spell on them. I could. Just need to be careful because I want to use the strong fire spell. Is it faster? No, it's not faster. If I go here in this inferno, can I? I could technically hit at least the the witch and put some pressure on top of those bandits. So I guess it's worth it in order to block off the the bridge for the time being. I'm going to go for my paladin, but that's fine. We still stay in range. The witch seem to be going into range as well. Why are you all suddenly going up there? Okay, you're relatively fast. Out of range as well. I go for this. Just a tad too slow, but I am able to hit a couple of those targets. I'm to totally going to go for it. Okay, I go for my paladin again. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Vampires, what are you doing? Do not get annoying now. Where are you going? Don't cause issues! But there doesn't have to be any issues, alright? Alright! Just saying! Can I intercept them? And go for 
a healing ward on him? Yes, I can. And I'm totally going to do it as well. Okay. Keep the line going. Stay alive, okay? Keep the line going and stay alive. Oh, that's so much damage though. Oh, so much damage! Acrorism! Is that good? Probably not. Push! Push them all! Push them away! Another level up for the witch. Okay, appreciate it. Mm, yeah. Go for it. Time for another inferno after all. Yes. Boost it up. Infinity! I'm going to use a crisscross. It's not strong enough. Let's go for another strong heat riser in the middle of this. You cannot die, alright? You can not die. Die! Do not die! Freaking! No! No! Vampire, I swear to god! What are you even doing? I thought you were just lurking in the shadows! Why are you. Why are you intercepting us? <laughs> why are you guys intercepting us? You even go for me! The heck? The water deep? No. Can I just push them in? Oh, but the other area. It's burning. Both of them are burning. The question is is it worth it to go for them right now? Or should I just cast another one of those? So yes, I think this is worth it again. Once again! Alright. You're flying upwards? Into range? Probably not. Can I just hit anything around here that... Uh Sun out. Okay, wait a second. Is that a base point? Yes, it's a base point. I'm gonna change this into something that blocks charm, just in case. I don't want him to get charmed around here. I'm pretty sure I had something that blocks charm. Uh, did I? Or did I not? I don't have it. Oh shoot. Okay. Well, time for medical herb again, huh? Mm hmm. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes, please change it. Let's go for an aqua pulse. It's gonna take a while for me to sawn them out, but that's fine. Actually speaking. If I scramble, if I have enough points to scramble, I might actually be able to do this after all. At least for one vampire. I might be able to just get it at least for one vampire. Okay. Gotta level up. Second bend at the stone. Priest resist the stone. I don't have enough! No! You're flying out! I don't like this. <laughs> okay, who are you hitting? The entire area. Well, I'm gonna tank this. And I'm going to heal preemptively. Okay. I 
Can you hit me from there? Probably not. Those witches are extremely close range after all. It does so much damage though! <laughs> oh my god! 500! 500! <laughs> okay! Okay, now I want to stun. It's fine. All of them are in range. Can't really do anything for them. If you kill him, I'm gonna be extremely angry. <sighs> extremely, extremely angry. Heal him up. Back to 900. Stay alive, Gabriel. Alright? Not asking for too much. Just stay alive. It's gonna be fine. I don't care about all that stuff. Somebody is getting dragged in the water. Hmm? Oh! Are you mad at yourself now? Oh, how great of you guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you very much. And what what is this? What is this? Could it be? Could it? Ah, shoot. I was about to say. Would have been too nice. Would have been too nice. <laughs> okay, are you retreating? Yeah, you're about to go start charming my, my people. That's not great. Oh well. Could be worse. Oh, I lost an overdrive. The vampire's gonna be a pain. Soon. She's probably going to fly over in order to start using her charm ability. Which means I'm gonna move Kaldina over in order to intercept her. Well, intercept is a strong word for this. Technically speaking. Hit a crystal from here. Maybe. They're relatively slow right now. Of course, she's going for us again. Cool. Yeah, that's not about to happen. Does that go all the way across? Yes, technically speaking, yes, but the uh, mage girl is gonna move. So instead of this, I might want to focus on somebody else, like this lady who's currently in the water, which means I am not really able to reach them. If that's the case. Yes, of course. Wait, I can hit her from here. I just need to double sh make uh, make double sure where this text is going. Yes, I can totally hit it from there. Starlight. Yes. I'm gonna boost damage up a little. It's not gonna make such a big difference, but I take it. Anything to cause some trouble for the vampire. Except of the fact that it caused some trouble for us as well. And she stunned me out of it. Ah, oh, great. Love to see it. Love to see it. <sighs> the damnation blade? 2480. I take it. Just need to keep on hitting them. 
was able to stun her, so that's fine, that's good. You are going for my Kadena and got the charm right away, and that's a bit of an issue. I was able to hit my own Golio, that's good. But then again, not that much, because I actually don't really... Uh... Should just get the turn soon. Don't really need to go for it. But if I go here, with an aqua pulse into the back, I can push her into the deep water, and I think that should technically get rid of all of them. Both vampires in one fell swoop. Never mind, she's still somehow alive. If I move here, I still have another chance to do something before my. the vampire has a turn. Okay, I need to keep my Safina alive. Stay alive, my girl! You need to be healthy. You're the one who's about to collect all the islands around here. Oh, I got the counter blade. Ah, my god! I hate her. I really hate her. Especially because of this. Oh, god! Okay. Did you cancel your spell? Okay, potion on her. Then I need to get Paula out of there. Uh, is that gonna take time? It might. Charm on Golio, that's not good. Golio is extremely strong after all. Okay. I'm gonna hit you with a scarlet. Better. It doesn't hit anything if I'm going to do that. Well, we're certainly going to go for Scarlet Side then, at least. Boost. Okay. That might scare her off a little. Tourism scapegoat. 318. Okay, that's good. Sophina got hit by 500 damage. Another hit by 200, but she's still alive, so that's fine. Holy oh! 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 Yeah, that's not about to happen. Security rising. 800. Yes, please. Oh my god. Don't kill my guys. Please. Okay, this is so fine. Oh, thank you for going for Paolo. Holy damn. <laughs> Holy freaking damn. <sighs> what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Okay, this is enough for a kill. Which is done. Tactic point for Paolo. She's going for another cast. Golio approaches. Why the heck are you doing this to me? 
Golio, that was your potion! That was your potion, Golio! Oh my god, my witch! It's so difficult to keep up with my witch. Gabriel, don't you die now! My retreat point. You're still unable to reach it. Why are you still unable to reach it? Huh? <laughs> okay. Second healer. Come on out. Time for combat! Yes! Knock him out of the freaking charm! Holy damn! That took way too long with the charm! <laughs> I almost lost the guys again! <laughs> okay! How's my... Sofina? She's fine. Good. Good. Once she is alone, I can go for the treasures. But for now, I need to get rid of that freaking vampire. Pfft. Wait right here. Throw a potion at my girl. 800. Okay, this is fine. This is gonna be fine. Heat riser. 300 damage. Just one more hit, and we have it. I'm faster, right? Yes. Okay. I can certainly intercept this. This attack goes towards my paladin again. She's still alive. around here. This is gonna be avoided. Don't you dare get any funny ideas around here now. Cadelia, Cardana, or however you call it. Regina. <laughs> okay. Do I need to go for the overkill? No. But I have a chance to hit you with 666! So of course I'm going to go for it! Because I'm about to steal your blade! Alright? Alright. <sighs> Dead! I can't believe it. Good. Good! Give me that. Yes, loot the body. I'm not entirely sure if I can make use of this enchanting root, but I'm certainly going to steal this blade. Yes, the scarlet blade. Thank you. Now a benediction to both of them in order to heal them back up again, and then from here on out... It's time to go for the treasures! All of them. Like the feather rolls. End the point. Oh my god. This, this is great. This is good. Okay. First item. Can I hit the other one? Nope, I can't. But that's fine. What do we get? Shangri. Shangri La. Aha. Alright. And the second treasure chest. Nope. No matter how many times you ask me, I already have that point. I don't want to change my gear. It's fine. Alright? It's fine. So, what do we have here? 
Anything good? Anything interesting? A horn? Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, this is not about to happen. Regina! You can't out damage two healers! It's impossible! It's quite literally impossible! Oh well. Thanks for the gems though, right? Thanks for the gems. Appreciate every single one of them. So where was I? Alright, I still need to defeat that statue and I think there was another item next to Gullio. Right? Yeah, there was uh, this thing over here. Ah, uh, this one actually dies faster than the, the crystal, so I should probably get this one first. Oh yeah, you're trying again, Regina. This is not about to happen, though. Saying it's not about to happen. <laughs> okay, destroyed. Poor aim. That gonna be helpful? Not in the slightest. And back to the maximum. Thank you. <laughs> okay, which item do we have here? Uh, just wait. Apocalypse. What? Okay, that was some kind of book, but I'm not entirely sure. Nevertheless, um, let's continue with our attacks. I still need more ice crystals after all. Okay, next item we have... Rosier! Oh, I remember that type of weapon. I remember it from Riviera, and back then it was relatively, relatively strong. Really, really strong. But also really, really frail as well, because it literally broke in like one hit or something like that. At least the first version that I found from it. The other one was a bit more durable. But by the time I found it, we were already at the end game area, so uh, yeah, I it didn't really see that much use. It didn't really see that much use, but it did, in fact, give me a couple of uh, stat boosts, so that's all that really. That, that's all that really matters around here, right? <laughs> so, okay, I think with this we pretty much have everything. She's deciding to go for my paladin now, which is probably one of the worst possible decisions that she could have possibly made, but uh, I guess it's fine. You have pyrrhism now. Oh no, Regina! You missed, Regina. You officially have missed. And with purism, I'm about to absolutely obliterate you. Ah, oh, never mind. I get one extra turn. It's not gonna make it any easier for you, though. Because it's still just as powerful as it was before. <laughs> Oh no! Not the art! I failed you! Did she get away? I'm never sure, they, they always fake us out with this. But nevertheless, 90k of gold and I stole her bread from all the things that she has! I took her food because anything else doesn't matter. <laughs> But that's odd. Why were Imperial soldiers fighting with each other? True. Yeah, you would think our invasion would be an emergency situation. I guess Gagania isn't so unified after all. Seems like it. The magician Regina is the Yard's right hand. I think she may have tried to use our battle to assassinate my father. This would give her control of the army. Hmm, Siyat. What angle is he working on? I have a bad feeling about this. Let us hurry to Daldanica. Right. The more time we give him, the more time he has to prepare. 
And I'm pretty sure whatever he's up to is something that we don't want to see. Okay, anything of interest that you might want to have? Lost Maiden? What? Okay. Sounds like an interesting weapon. Doesn't really appear to have many abilities. Force to protect himself. I don't know about that one. Oh well. Either way. I probably have to make a cut, right? Yeah, that battle was relatively long. Not as long as the last one because Regina is really, really, really weak. Like pretty much all magic users once you corner them, right? I'm pretty sure the vampires in that map were pretty much the worst from all the enemies around there, right? I mean, my sorceress literally took care of 50-60% of all of them. She's great, right? She's absolutely great, but also really, really frail, so we need to be a, a bit careful about that. But other than that, I just love her. <laughs> Nevertheless, um, I hope you guys had fun in today's part, and I'll see you in the next one, once we go deeper into the capital. And then, bye-bye!